This is Ask Sam. I'm Sam, and we're going to talk about pickup lines in this episode. On this show, you ask me about life, relationships, sex, men, women, people, all kinds of stuff, and I answer your questions here on YouTube. In this week, I want to talk about pickup lines. No one asked me this question. This is just a topic I want to talk about, but it's important and it's relevant. There's this culture, and I think it's really mostly unique to the United States, but I don't know for sure, where men use pickup lines, normally men, on women, mo normally, uh, but it can happen men on men, women on women, women on men, but 99% of the time, it is expected that, that men will use pickup lines on women. Women actually drive a lot of this, right? You see conversations with women, women will say, well, his line wasn't very good, right? You need to have a good line when you talk to me, whatever. Here's the problem with that. Pickup lines are one of the stupidest things ever. No man should use them. No woman should accept them, right? When you use a pickup line, the, so there's, there's a, an exception to this. If your goal is a one night stand, okay. Because a pickup line basically tells everybody this is shallow and no one's thinking it through. And that's kind of where a one night stand is. Look, you're attractive. I'm horny. Here's a here's a pickup line where it breaks the ice and you know it kind of puts us on this we both understand that this isn't very serious. So if that's what we're into, great. But that's not how it's used. It's used for a let's you know, if I have this really great line and I go up to a girl, she's gonna be like, Whoa, we're gonna go out on a date now because you had a great line. Here's the problem with that. Every man has a line. They go out, they memorize it. They may try a few different ones and see which ones work, but that's it. It's not like a man looks at you and says, I'm gonna craft a pickup line just for this girl or just for this guy that I wanna pick up. No, that's stupid. They would never do that because one, they don't know anything about you, so they can't, right? Now, maybe you're missing an arm, so they make a missing arm joke, but that's really in poor taste to do anything based on your actual situation. Maybe a pickup line based on the drink you have or something, but pushing it. So the only way this works is that they craft a line that's generic, has nothing to do with you. They crafted it some other time when you weren't there long ago, right? So, and they often didn't craft it themselves. They just learned it somewhere. They watched a TV show. They read a book. They have a friend who used it. So they're copying it. Maybe they modified it, but they're still just using a line from somewhere. Everybody does this. They have to. It's the only thing that makes sense. Any attempt to read more into a pickup line than that is insanity. It would not make sense for the man to do it. It doesn't physically have the capability of, of occurring, right? Pickup lines are the most shallow thing ever. When a man uses them, it implies he thinks very little of the woman he's using them on. Sorry, but it's true. No man uses a pickup line and thinks, man, this woman is so intelligent, she's gonna tell that I'm a great catch because my pickup line is so good. I repeated a line I read in a magazine one time and that makes me a wonderful catch. No, he doesn't think that, she doesn't think that. He thinks this signals that I think nothing of her and if she responds positively, we can have a completely shallow physical relationship probably for only a few hours and be done with it. And there's no need to feel badly that it ends because we both established that garbage pickup is how we're going to initiate the scenario. From the women's perspective, if a man says this to you, that's this is what he's telling you. If you respond to that, you are telling him that this joke kind of thing that he did that he just read somewhere or he crafted without you or has nothing to do with you is important to you. Important enough to prioritize him over other people. That's weird and unhealthy, unless you're looking for that one I stand. If the goal is to keep it shallow, then perfect, you have a mechanism for that. But if you expect this to turn into something, you need to think through that you are prioritizing the worst kind of interaction as a way to initiate, right? We already talked about in an earlier episode that you have to have physical attraction, not have to, but essentially have to have physical attraction as the starting point on meeting a person. That's a given. And that's shallow, but only to a certain degree. It's not as shallow as people think, and it is necessary. So no matter how shallow it is, it doesn't imply that it is shallow 
for that the parties are looking for something shallow. It is simply the mechanism that must exist. So you can't think of it as being shallow. It's shallow within the context of different things you do. It doesn't indicate a shallow interaction. Pickup lines, however, there is no necessity for them. They are completely illogical outside of in the intent to be shallow. And so pickup lines are the actual really shallow interaction that people often associate with that physical attraction. But even worse is when women push for this, right? And of course, men could push for it, but that's very hard, right? In this scenario, it is almost always a hetero interaction. It is essentially always men using pickup lines on women. It's just how society works. This isn't, I'm not trying to say it should be one way or another. It just is, right? And we all know this. So don't read into that statement. It's simply the way it is. But it, when women push for this, when women say, I need to hear a good pickup line, I'm going to go and listen for a good pickup line. You have to be delusional to use that as a mechanism. Because if you're saying, well, I'm waiting for a good pickup line, what you're saying is I'm looking for the guy who randomly picks something that interests me as a line or randomly comes across as funny or randomly read the book with the right line or just out of a series of lines that he knows, pick the right one. It's random. None of it reflects something positive about your interaction with him. So using that as a guide in some way guarantees that unhealthy interactions are going to be the foundation of that relationship. Again, one night stand, you don't care. Anything else, if you want any kind of relationship, you need to think very hard about how you respond to a pickup line when it's used, and if in any way you are thinking that it's something you want to hear, because it should not be, ever, right? It just, even for one night stands, I wouldn't want that to happen, right? It's, it's a poor way to communicate that, but at least it indicates that shallowness. All right, I wanna hear your thoughts on pickup lines below, why you think they may be okay, um, where you think they may have a place, because I see essentially no place for them. If you wanna to talk to someone, go up, be honest. I would like to buy you a drink. I would like to have a quick conversation with you. I would like to get to know you better. Not a lot, just, you know, for five minutes. Not some crazy joke that makes no sense and has nothing to do with the situation. You might as well be just walking up and repeating any one-liner out of some comedian's routine. That's all it is. Right? It's just one that happens to have a context of dating. So it's like, I'm telling you a random stand-up routine from the 1970s, but it's about dating. So you know that I'm something special. No, it's stupid. All right. Leave your comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see all of you next time.